Hey guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com with my very first um, custom Android ROM review. Uh, this is the Acer Iconia Tab A500 that I bought back in, I think it was like May or April over here in Taiwan. It's based on the NVIDIA Tagware 2 1 GHz dual core processor, has 1 GB of RAM, and that's a 32 GB version running Android, well, not Android Honeycomb 3.2. Uh, anymore, or at least not the stock version anymore. Um, let's switch it on because right now I'm using um, the so called Tor A500 ROM V13.2, which is actually based on a, a ROM on a ROM from the ASUS EPET Transformer. So what I would like to show you right now here is, let me just uh, get this a little bit closer, maybe we want to zoom in a little bit. So yeah, here we go, that's better. So what you can see over here is already a kind of customized desktop that I'm using. I added a couple of widgets. What you can also see over here, this is by the way the Antutu uh, benchmark widget the CPU is clocked at 1.2 GHz. Actually, what you can do with it is you can underclock your CPU to 200 MHz, but you can also overclock it to one, up to 1.6 GHz. I even tried it to go 1.7 GHz. I tell you what, it's going to crash then, and then you have to flash it all again. But um, let's talk about some specifics. What you can see down here are typical ASUS um, apps like MyNet and MyCloud. They're also using the ASUS Web Storage. Let's go to the apps. Uh, let's see, there's an app backup from ASUS which is also very handy and uh, it has the ASUS Web Storage for the cloud. Let me see, I think it should be down here somewhere or maybe not. Just trust me, it's, it's over here somewhere. I've been installing so many uh, applications already. Um, but what you notice immediately is the performance is absolutely amazing. Now look at this. I have like a hundred apps on it because mainly I'm using this device right now to um, do game reviews and benchmarking and it's just amazing. So uh, why don't we take a look uh, at some benchmark results. Not too bad, wasn't it? So what I would also like to show you is um, the way they changed a couple of things down here. For example, um, this is something that you're familiar with right now. But let's go to settings and let's go to Tor ROM parts. And over here what we can do is enable and disable the quick controls. And as soon as I enable them, you see that? Now you have these quick controls over here, and uh, so you can immediately, uh, immediately and easily uh, access like uh, screen brightness, and you can go to the airplay mode. You can switch on and off uh, the Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, whatnot, and of course you can also configure all these little settings here. What else is here? Uh, we can also go for the stock battery item. What you, what you notice is um, that's that's not the stock honeycomb. These are all these ASUS little tweaks that they did, and they also changed the battery item down here, uh, which is kind of nice to see. But over here now it's getting very interesting because here you can overclock the device, and you know what? That's what we're going to do right now. We go into 1.2 gigahertz and uh, we have to reboot the system for this here we go okay let's reboot okay it. we are rebooting and I just wanted to show you this also there is a custom yeah boot up sequence and graphic by the way you can get this ROM at tegraowners.com but you know 
make sure that you're reading all the step-by-step -step instructions and uh, how you route your device, which is pretty easy on the Ace Iconia tab, how you can get the clockwork mode on this and do backups of your apps. So, you know, please read the instruction. I'm not responsible if you're going to break your Ace Iconia tab. Okay, here we go. It just takes a while um, when we're rebooting after overclocking it. Uh, we should be almost there and this gives um, this Acer Iconia tab a huge performance boost. Here we go. So let's see until, uh, let's wait until the Antutu widget is kicking in again. Here we go. Can you see this? 1.6 gigahertz or 1600 megahertz. You know what I would also love to show you is uh, Let's try an animated wallpaper because these lo uh, live wallpapers uh, actually use a lot of performance. And uh, so let's try this one here and let's see how this performs on our desktop. Now look at this. And still the animation is super smooth. I just love this ROM. So Whoever is Tor who is doing this ROM, you did a bloody good job, I tell you that. Um, but what I would also like to show you is how about underclocking our device and trying to still play, what about Shadow Gun at 600 megahertz? Here we go. Set to 600 megahertz and we're going to reboot. Okay, back. We're at 608 uh, megahertz right now. You can definitely tell it's not so smooth anymore even though it still works, but let's get rid of this live wallpaper. This should definitely cause a uh, performance improvement. Um, oh wait, maybe I don't want to use these live wallpapers then. Um, that's my old one and uh, let's make it a little bit bigger here here we go, let's say OK and let's go back to the desktop and you see the performance is very reasonable at 600 megahertz it feels to me like I have as much performance as on my uh, EPET transformer with a stock Honeycomb 3.2. But what I would like to show you is uh, how about the performance of Shadowgun at 600 megahertz. So over here you see a couple of NVIDIA Tegra Zone games that, I'm, that I reviewed recently. And over here is Shadowgun. For me, the best third person shooter for a mobile device that's out there. Graphics are really cool and uh, Normally they they definitely need some performance from your platform. So let's resume this and let's see how that works. Again, this is 40% underclocked compared to a stock 1 GHz Tegra 2 dual core system. Which obviously saves you also a lot of power, I tell you that. So here we are. Look at this. Well, it's not super smooth, but it works. Okay, duck and cover. Let's see if we can get this fella here. It does work. See that? I tell you what, I I don't see a lot of differences with uh, running Shadi, uh, Shadowgun on a 600 megahertz Acer Iconia tab with this custom Tor ROM V13 compared to my EPET transformer running at 1 gigahertz. So that's pretty decent, huh? And you know what? There is one other thing that I would love to show you, especially when you're playing games and getting kind of annoyed by this uh, status bar over here. Oh, 
let's go back. Oh, obviously, here we go. Just press the power button, but not only one, hold it, go to status bar, say OK, and then say hide status bar. Here we go. And close this window, go back to Shadow Gun. Ah, oh, come on. Well, this obviously takes a while. Here we go. And you see, now you're playing Shadow Gun really in full screen, no status bar anymore, which is a nice to have. But you know what? Now we need to switch it on again. <laughs> because otherwise, I'm going to have some problems to control this whole Honeycomb interface. Okay, close the window. Well, 600 megahertz is definitely not so appropriate for um, desktop operations, but it still works. And if you want to get a lot of battery life out of your Acer Iconia tab, try it. At 600 megahertz, I almost got 12 hours of battery life out of the Iconia tab while I've been uh, watching videos, while I've been playing games, uh, surfing the web, listening to music, right, and running a couple of benchmarks. And by the way, I had the, um, let's see, the brightness was set to about 50%. By the way, the auto brightness isn't working, so I set this. No, it's not even 50%, it's like 40%. Sorry about that. But still, almost 12 hours, that's pretty cool. This ROM is available on tegraowners.com. I'm going to put uh, a link down here. Over here, you can subscribe our videos. Down there, you can rate it. And somewhere over here, you can leave a comment, and that would be really cool. That's the brand new Tor A500 ROM V13. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.